clarification is needed with respect to the existing structure. The survey indicates that the building consists of one and two stories, whereas the site plan indicates that the building is three stories. Would you mind clarifying that for the, us? The building is three stories in height. It's three stories. That's correct. And it's an existing three story building. The only addition that's being made to the building itself is that in the rear part, they're providing an extra. I see. Commissioners, any other questions? Just a clarification. The second and third floor are going to be apartments. <coughs> It'll be apartments front and back or front and back. Front and back. Perfect. That's all I know. Uh, commissioners, I'd like to share a call. At this point, do you have anything that is not on the retail section? Are you having it? So they sorry. Again, at this point. Do you have any idea who's going to uh, occupy the retail uh, no. section? Okay. No idea right now. Thank you. 
Certainly. Uh, most importantly, we have a uh, deep use fairness because uh, retail is not permitted in the North Korean zone. In terms of bulk variances, we have rear yard variance available in house for 71 feet and 8 inches of uh, building from the curb. Uh, we have an existing setback of 95 feet 7 inches. Uh, that's existing. Uh, front yard prevailing uh, requires 7 feet. We have 0 feet. Right yard would be 2 feet 7 under the prevailing. We have 0 feet. Uh, left yard would be 11 inches under the prevailing. We have 0 feet. Um, we also have a parking variance um, of left spaces where none are provided. Uh, it's worth noting on uh, the parking that uh, none of the properties here uh, really have a street parking. Most of the lots uh, uh, in this um, block are 25 foot wide properties. Uh, historically, the buildings were built uh, at the front of the property uh, onto East Jersey Street, uh, and there would not be rear access uh, to, to the yards. All these are existing conditions, is that correct? These are existing conditions. Now, should we improve this application uh, and the variances? Well, in, in my opinion, from a planning point of view, the, uh, the additional apartment uh, complies with the intent of the zone uh, in, in that it is an multi-family, it's a four-family zone. Uh, the retail space has a history here, there's a retail directly across the street. I do not feel that the continuation of that non-conformal use uh, presents a detriment, considering the close proximity, this is a transitional zone um, from a commercial district to residential uh, with a major arterial street in the form of East Jersey. Um, the applicant is reinvesting uh, in the property, improving it. Uh, there will be a new sprinkler system included because uh, the residential and commercial system in the building safer and I feel further diminishing the impact of the zero yard setbacks. Uh, we are providing more housing options for the residents of the city. Uh, these are good apartments in terms of space. Um, they're not overcrowded. Private laundry services, uh, all, all the like. Um, and right now, to be frank, uh, the rental apartments are very much in demand due to the you know, last several years. Economic situation. Do you see more of these kind of development in those where we have commercial, uh, residential, or commercial? Mixed use development uh, needs to be done properly to be successful, but it is a very, very good model and it's a historic model. It's not something new. Uh, providing uh, retail space or some type of commercial use on the ground level to activate the street, from, uh, the street from, uh, corridor. Provides use during the day. Parking tends to be diametrically opposed in the sense that residents park on the park there at night during the day when they're working. Uh, those parking spaces are being utilized by uh, commercial. Uh, it provides safer neighborhood in the form of uh, continuous occupancy 24 7. Uh, and uh, by reducing the number of automobiles on the street, uh, it helps uh, people who maybe have limited access to cars. Most cities, planners today, do argue for mixed use, again, because it does allow for a certain sense of convenience, viability for small retail, because residences are directly uh, available to them use the services, uh, and convenience to residences. Is that location consistent with the your intent of the master plan in the same ways? Yes, the master plan uh, does encourage property improvements, and uh, there's a benefit, according to item 7, safety enhancement. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're providing more options uh, and newer, safer options uh, for tenants. Uh, and in this district, high density housing is encouraged. So by increasing the density, uh, I would argue that we're uh, by increasing the density, by increasing the density uh, of housing, I would argue that we are uh, further advancing the intents of this zone of district. Commissioners, any questions? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Zender, I'm looking at uh, page S1. 
SP4, I guess that's your landscape plan? Yes. I had the opportunity to drive past the uh, property this afternoon. I realize there's not much you can do with that. Yes. I do appreciate the street tree that you're putting there. It's a significant one, a shade tree. Um, I think we're going to be seeing more of that in the city of Elizabeth, as opposed to the little ornamental guys. So I commend you for that. Thank you. We like shade trees. We do. Uh, that's all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner.